The first slide here was the team. And typically when I'm doing this presentation uh, these days, I don't actually have a team slide because most of the people I'm talking to know me from my previous uh, businesses and ventures. But for you, I would absolutely encourage you to make the first slide the team. The reason that is important is, and if you take nothing else from what I say today, um, the message I want you to get is this. Ideas are cheap. Teams are not. Investors do not fund ideas. They fund people. Both of my first two companies were funded for businesses other than what they actually ended up, actually ended up doing and where they ended up becoming successful. I focus on the team slide here because I'm, I'm showing credibility here. I want the people that I'm talking to to know who I am, who I'm working with, why they should believe in me, why they should trust me, and why they should feel that their investment in me is going to, to yield results. Starting out though, when I first um, uh, started Narrative, my first company in 95, I couldn't say any of these things about myself other than my previous work experience. So this slide in my first presentation actually also had um, a slide with what we, what is called a board of advisors, and they were the names and backgrounds of four people who I had gone out and found who had reputations in the industry, who were known to the investors that I were, was talking to. I cannot encourage enough for any venture that you're going to start, until you've got that cred that you need out there, go find people that can be helpful, that are going to be known to the venture community, that they can be your reference. That's what investors are looking for. They want, they want someone who is going to vouch for you and say that you're, you're the guy or the gal that can make it happen. Clearly, the point about the, the founders having worked together five times is really important. Investors are always looking for chemistry within the founding team. Um, and you know, whether it's that you've been playing Little League baseball together since you were, you were in the, you know, the second grade or you've been roommates for four years at Michigan, whatever it is, something that shows that you have uh, dealt with adversity um, that naturally comes up and make that point. That's something that's a huge red flag that all investors will always look for uh, in their founding teams. More companies fail because of disagreement and dissolution between the investors than, than just about anything else other than, of course, lack of money. <laughs> 